some Dungeon Master tips are good regardless if you are a beginner or very experienced. Here are 5 of my favorites. Let your players fail forward. Here's the scene, deep within a forgotten temple. The wizard of the party is attempting a tricky spell. They are trying to unlock an ancient rune inscribed door blocking the way forward. They roll and it's a fail. Traditionally, this would mean the door remains stubbornly shut, but that is boring and it grinds the story to a halt. Instead, imagine the spell doesn't fizzle out without consequence. The wizard's failed magic explodes the door, damaging the party with the flying shrapnel and it also zaps a nearby statue to life. Suddenly the story isn't stuck in a boring place and the encounter turned into another interesting scene. Will the players talk to the statue or try to fight it? It's up to them. Failing forward is the art of turning setbacks into plot twists. It's about using failures as the stepping stones for the story progression. Do you remember that time your bard tried to charm that grumpy innkeeper and botch their persuasion check instead of outright rejection maybe the innkeeper challenges them to a dangerous axe juggling dance off so don't dread the laurels of the players embrace them as an opportunity for storytelling gold every fumble check is a potential plot twist in disguise improvise and adapt your story so here's the thing about dungeons and dragons it's very unpredictable you can spend hours days or even weeks planning the most most epic and intricate storyline and then your players decide to start a bakery in the middle of a quest. This might sound like a nightmare, but trust me, it's part of the beauty of the game in these situations. Rather than pushing your players back to your original plan, try to roll with it. Sure, they've sidestepped the orc infested dungeon you spent hours designing, but wouldn't it be hilarious if the orc suddenly developed a sweet tooth and became the bakery's first customers? Or what if the bakery becomes a cover for a secret underground spy network? Try to think on your feet, adapt and incorporate your player's unexpected decisions. It's part of the magic that makes being a dungeon master so rewarding. It keeps the game fresh and it keeps your players engaged because they know their actions have a real impact on the world. Play to your strengths. There exists a fantastic array of Dungeon Master styles, and this variety is part of what makes the game so rich and dynamic. You don't have to be good at everything to start DMing, just try to play to your strengths. Think about Matt Mercer and Brennan Lee Mulligan. Both of these guys are absolute legends, but each of them is playing to their unique strengths. Matt is known for vivid descriptions and epic world building. He crafts a rich narrative that leaves players and viewers absolutely hooked. He is also known for his great voice acting that brings life to a vast array of NPCs. On the flip side, we've got Brennan Lee Mulligan from Dimension 20. Brennan's games are characterized by their blend of humor, emotional depth and surprising complexity. He has a knack for crafting intricate plots with layers upon layers to uncover, all while maintaining a light-hearted and often hilarious tone. He's great at subverting expectations, playing around with established tropes and delivering intense moments of drama. He alternates between scenes filled with laughs and deep, deep darkness. Two exceptional DMs with two completely distinctive styles. Why does it work? Because they play to their strengths. Maybe you're great at designing cool combat encounters. Or perhaps you have an instinct for drama. Focus on your personal strengths and don't compare yourself to others too much. Don't over plan. I see you there with your intricate world map, your detailed timeline of events and your carefully laid out plot points. Don't get me wrong, the fact that you went through all this work is fantastic. It's a testament to your creativity and your dedication as a dungeon master. But you probably don't need all of it. D&D is not a scripted play in the theater. It's an improvised dance where you and your players move to the beat of the rolling dice. And that's what makes 
makes it so fun. If you plan out every single detail of your campaign, you run the risk of locking yourself into a rigid structure. And when your players inevitably do something unexpected, because trust me, they will, it will throw you off. Instead of meticulously plotting every detail, focus on creating a solid framework for your campaign. Know your main NPCs, their motivations, and how they might react to different situations. Have a general idea of the world and its mechanics. Understand the primary conflict and the stakes, but leave room for the unexpected. Be prepared to improvise, to adapt, to let your player's actions guide the story in directions you didn't anticipate. Because those surprising off-the-rails moments are the ones that make D&D such a fun and memorable game. And hey, all those details you didn't get to use, they're not wasted. Keep them in your back pocket. Maybe they'll come in handy later. Or they might even spark a whole new adventure. Don't stress about planning every single detail. Embrace the unpredictability and go with the flow. Take care of yourself. No, I can already hear you saying, what? I'm the DM. I've got worlds to build, NPCs to manage, plots to weave. I don't have time to worry about myself. And to that I say, hold it right there. Yes, being a DM means you're wearing a thousand hats. You are the referee, the storyteller, the world builder, the voice of every friendly innkeeper and the ferocious dragon your players encounter. And yes, that's an absolute blast. But here's the thing, you are also human and humans need to take breaks. Even the most imaginative minds can get wore down if they don't take care of themselves. So how does a DM take care of themselves? Well, for starters, pace yourself. Maybe you don't need to run a marathon session every week. Maybe a shorter game or a bi-weekly session would better suit your energy level and schedule. It means communicating with your players. If you're feeling burnt out or need a break, let them know. They will understand. Heck, one of them might even offer to run a one-shot to give you a break. Taking care of yourself also means doing things outside of D&D that make you happy. Go for a run, read a book, binge that TV show you've been curious about. This will not only recharge your batteries, but it might even spark new ideas for your campaign. Even if you follow all of these tips, maybe your combat still feels like it could be better. To learn how you can improve it, watch this video next.